What are the absolute worst parts about living in Surrey? I absolutely detest living in the city of Surrey. Okay, it's not quite that extreme, but Surrey, just like any other city, has its absolute worst parts, and that's exactly what we're gonna jump into in today's video. I've got four things that I wanna share with you that just absolutely boil my blood about living in the city of Surrey. Things that you wanna know before you ever choose to call the city of Surrey home. And let's try and make this a little bit interactive here as well. If you've got anything that you can think of because you're a resident of the city of Surrey, I want you to leave a comment below about anything that drives you nuts as well. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you hang around to the end as well because I am going to talk about one of the most glaring issues about living in the city of Surrey that you will hear about again and again and again and I'm gonna give you the absolute full story on it and you're gonna know where to go to get all the details. So that all sounds good, cue the music, let's get started. My name is Darren, a realtor with McDonald Realty in Surrey, BC and team leader of the German Group. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Surrey, BC, Red Rock, BC or anything going on in the crazy wild, wild west world of British Columbia real estate, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the updates we release on a regular basis about the communities and the market. People like you are booking online meetups with me and my team all the time about relocating to the areas that we service and the good news is is we're here to help you too whether you're moving in the next nine days 90 days or even nine months from now be sure to book an online meetup with me and my team so we can help make sure your move to Surrey or White Rock or any of the surrounding municipalities is the best that it could ever be so here's the problem it's not all roses living in Surrey just like any city anywhere in the world it's got its issues and you need to know exactly what they are so you're prepared to deal with them if you ever choose to call Surrey home. I gotta warn you, these things are probably gonna drive you absolutely bonkers if you choose to move here, and it's just part about being a resident of the city of Surrey that you're gonna have to deal with. Some of these are not necessarily gonna be unique to Surrey. There are certainly problems like these in other communities, not only in the lower mainland, but also all over the world. But Surrey definitely shines when it comes to these top four issues. So let's jump into them. The traffic in Surrey is gonna drive you absolutely mental. If you're not lucky enough to live in the very center of Surrey where you can easily jet around to wherever you need to go, the commute times by vehicle are absolutely astounding in the city of Surrey. Let me paint a little bit of a picture for you. I live in an area called South Surrey and Surrey is a really big municipality, one of the biggest in Canada in fact. Driving from the southern part of Surrey all the way to where City Hall is as an example, the northern part of Surrey, is gonna take me 30 minutes by car in a slow time. But if you add traffic to that time, you're looking at upwards of 50 minutes sitting in the car just trying to get to the other end of Surrey. In fact, looking at this map, it even shows that at a quiet time of the day when I was preparing to film this video, it's actually faster to jump on the highway and avoid all of the traffic and congestion in the city of Surrey and actually get out of the city going around it using the highway to access the northern part of the city. What if you're traveling west to east? Well, I punched in two of my very favorite restaurants, Tasty Indian Bistro and Haven Bistro. Tasty Indian Bistro is up on the Surrey Delta border and Haven is on the border of Langley and Cloverdale, Cloverdale being in Surrey. So how long would it take for us to travel between these two amazing restaurants if we wanted to have a really awesome night out together? Just going from west to east, you're looking at 33 minutes without traffic. But if you're going out to eat dinner, you're probably not traveling in times where traffic is low like it is in the middle of the day when I'm filming this video. So with traffic, you're still looking at upwards of 50 minutes to get to each location. Diving down a little bit deeper in this, Vancouver is the biggest city in British Columbia as of right now. And TomTom Tom estimates that Vancouver suburbs, and Surrey would be a suburb of Vancouver, has the second worst traffic in North America. 
People in Vancouver, as an example, according to TomTom, waste up to 90 hours per year just sitting in idle traffic waiting to get out of it. Traffic in Surrey is absolutely bananas and it only feels like it's getting worse. Number two on our list is development in Surrey. Surrey is a big municipality and just like most places in the lower mainland, it's growing incredibly rapidly, something we're gonna touch on later in this video. But specifically with development, we just finished talking about traffic. And obviously development, construction, helps add to those traffic delays. You're sitting in traffic with the person in the you know bright vest and whatnot, holding up the stop sign while a dump truck comes in or out or whatever they're doing. But it's absolutely everywhere and it drives you absolutely crazy. Surrey is slated to overtake the population of Vancouver by the year 2029. Now I'm filming this in 2024, so that's only five short years away. It's estimated that the population of Surrey currently is about 610,000 and the population of Vancouver is 675,000 currently. Assuming the population of Vancouver does not go up, that is adding an additional 65,000 residents to the city of Surrey in only the next five years. That means we need a ton of new homes for these people to live in. Typically is going to be mostly multifamily, monstrous projects to house all these people that are coming. You want to play a fun game when you come to the city of Surrey? Just stand anywhere and look at the skyline and start counting cranes because that is all you will see for the next few years. Now I touched on number three in my last set of comments and I'm going to touch on it specifically here and that is infrastructure. Our infrastructure in Surrey is seriously struggling to keep up with the demand of the growing population. I want to be really direct and frank about this. Surrey is growing likely too fast and we do not have the infrastructure to keep up with all the people that are looking to call Surrey home. Let me give you a few examples. Let's talk about the new hospital that's slated to go into the Cloverdale neighborhood, which is due to be complete in 2030. One of the number one concerns is that our hospitals are already struggling to keep up with the demand in the city, and we are still six years away from having this new hospital open its doors. So what do we do? Google anything about the Surrey School District and any news article you find is gonna talk about the overcrowding and the overpacked schools in Surrey because we just don't have the space for all these new kids. We talked about traffic, we talked about development. A lot of the roadways in Surrey are not built to handle the amount of traffic that these roadways are now seeing on a regular basis. And even just a personal story, if you're someone that has a family, like I have two kids, forget trying to get your kids into city services, things like swimming lessons or maybe playing baseball in the summertime. You have got to be on these websites immediately as soon as they open for registration and heaven forbid you miss being there five minutes early because you will completely miss out on the ability to get your kids into some of these activities because there were so many people trying to get into them. Last on our list, well, if you've heard anything about Surrey, you've likely heard about Surrey's reputation when it comes to crime. It always seems like the bad dudes are always coming to visit Surrey or maybe they live in Surrey. In fact, you're gonna find a lot of the things that seem to be frequently happening in the news and they're happening out of Surrey. It just feels much more like it's coming out of Surrey than it is out of other municipalities across the Lower Mainland. Now, one of the reasons for this is because there seems to be a really high profile drug trade, not only in Surrey, but the Lower Mainland as well. But for whatever reason, some of this tends to come back to Surrey. So just really how bad is it? How bad is crime in Surrey? How bad is everything related to the drug trade in Surrey? Well, if you wanna learn all about that and more, I go into complete detail about what the actual numbers of the crime statistics are in the city of Surrey in this video right here. So you're gonna have to watch that to learn a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like if you found value in it and I'll definitely look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.